What's up, YouTube? Youth Director here. I come to you at this time with a heavy heart. Recently, I posted on multiple Facebook groups. I cross-posted some updates that I had to my home theater. Wanted to share it with the community. And it was quickly brought to my attention that there's a fatal flaw with my home theater that I was unaware of before. And it's not apparent on the surface. You can look here and see that everything looks nice and good as you're taking a look at it, but it's what lies beneath that could not only bring down my home theater, but the entire home theater community. Let me show you what's going on. Okay, so a little story behind this wall that I built. I knew that all of these cut edges and things were going to be behind the screen, so I didn't worry about it too much at the time. And I always planned on painting the wood so that it would be black and it wouldn't really show that much of the fabric being kind of not straight uh, whenever I painted it. But I do want to say, however, the things that don't look straight actually are, some of them <laughs> actually are straight. So let me show you what I'm talking about, how they actually are straight. So this edge, I cut that pretty straight, but what happened was it's whenever I wanted to pull it tight so it didn't have any creases or anything like that in it. For this part that you did see, what happened was is it these are little push thumbtacks and the th thumbtacks caused it to curve like that. So I did not have enough material to wrap it all the way around the back so that's my fault. If I did, you wouldn't have seen that at all be on the back side. And up here at the top, this is a big mistake of mine. I kind of just cut higher on this other side for some reason. Don't know how that happened. Now on the bottom down here, even though it looks like it's cut at an angle, it's actually not. I actually just wanted to get rid of some wrinkles. So I stretched it up over the table right here. So that way I wouldn't see any wrinkles underneath down below the screen. So that's actually a straight edge. The edge right there is a surged edge that came with the fabric. So I did not change that at all. But what I'm gonna plan on doing is I plan on putting a piece of wood across the bottom, all the way across this bottom right here. That's straight and level. Same thing with up here at the top. Put a piece of wood all the way across the top. Then I can wrap the spandex around that and keep it to where it's nice and straight and looks good whenever you take the screen off. framework almost ready that's for the black spandex uh, portion of the wall all we have to do is mark a few more marks onto it uh, make sure it's measured twice get it just right and then we can go ahead cut it get it back downstairs and screw it in So now uh, we just need a couple pieces of wood that will back these. So basically 
the way this is going to work is we have these two pieces of wood that's going to come horizontally across that the black fabric behind the screen can attach to give it a nice edge. Well, we're going to tee into the pieces like this. One piece will be here, one piece will be there. But I need something on the back uh, to keep those two together since they're going to be kind of mended together. Put together right here. Put a piece of wood over this. This other piece that's left over, you could definitely use a piece like that to do it. I need something for the bottom as well. I might take this two by four, so it's a little bit thicker, a little bit beefier, and do something with it. Take this downstairs and start attaching it to the false wall that we made. See how it fits. So here we go, fingers crossed. Now we're gonna get going on uh, fixing these two together, creating an overlap so that we can put the long pieces right here and be able to butt them up on each side like so. And then on the bottom, taking the two by four, screwing this to the two by four, and then taking this and screwing this to the base of the wall. And when we do that, it'll give us a little bit more to bite into for this. So let's see if we can get going and make it work. over here off thinking that I was going to relocate them these are basically some cleats that I have to the screen you know has the other half of this cleat and it just slides in that's the way I take the screen on and off but rather than going through all the trouble of relocating it on here and making sure it's on the right spot on there so the screen is not crooked I decided I'm gonna put them back in the same spot so let's get to doing that really quick get them back on there and then we'll start mounting the frame for the black portion of the wall. All right, now that that's done, we can go ahead, start mounting these long boards right here, and then put our little brace, the middle braces on, and see how they work, or see how they fit, rather. So now that the frame is up, let's go ahead and pin some of the, this up here just a little bit, see what it looks like. I have to say, it looks so much better already. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fit the screen back up, make sure it does cover all the opening here. I want to make sure I didn't put that piece of wood too high and cause it to where the you can see a gap between the screen and it. So let's do that before we go any further. So it looks like we're going to be good. All right, we'll take a little break and get the rest of this going after a little while. 12 seconds later. So the camera cut out, finished painting this, give you a look at it, see what you think. So I got that black over there, black over here, and also the biggest part 
is now it's nice and square. So much, much better. I'm happy that I decided to do this. Like I said, it was just fatal flaw that could have brought down the whole home theater community. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but seriously, uh, it looks a lot better. And now I can present this to people without them thinking, oh, what? why does it look like that? Everything else looks pretty good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Those of you who stick with me and and uh, watch my videos, it's my, like I said, this is something that I've just started within the last you know six months or so. And uh, hopefully I'd like to keep it going. And uh, again, thanks for sticking with me. And we'll see you guys the next time. <music>